Now, some people have already started queuing for a new gadget that could revolutionise the way we play computer games. Going on sale at midnight, the Kinect attachment for the Microsoft Xbox uses infrared to read a player's body movements, so you no longer need a controller, but can revitalise. But can it revitalise the industry after two years of decline? Here's our technology correspondent, Benjamin Cohen. Queuing for hours in the cold outside a shop, it must mean that another new gadget is about to hit the market. Tonight, it's a device that's claimed will change the way we play computer games forever, Microsoft's Kinect. Microsoft say their new gadget will appeal to everyone from the teenage boy to grandmas. I wanted to test them out, so I invited my grandma along to have a dance off. So on this game that we're going to play, it's actually going to watch us moving around and that will be our character, so we don't have to actually use the controller like this. Oh, thank goodness, because I can't use buttons, you know that. No, I know, so all it's going to do is it's going to follow us. So okay. should we have a go? Yes, please. Player one, let's do this thing! In one of the most simple Kinect games, we try to follow the dancer on the screen and the Kinect sensors track how we do. The closer we match the moves, the more points we get. And guess who won? Grandma. So is this easier than playing a normal computer game? Oh, much easier. Why? A apart from the obviously not having to use your fingers. Well, get a bit more rhythm and movement. And I'm enjoying the music. Microsoft aren't the first in the motion sensor game. Nintendo proved the concept with the Wii, which became the must-have and sold-out gadget of Christmas 2006. Sony launched PlayStation Move this year, but both of those systems depend on a handheld controller. Kinect is unique because it uses infrared cameras to track a player's body, so you don't need to hold anything in your hand. The full body tracking is done by these two sensors, right. and it's all done with infrared. So it's kind of like an infrared sonar, and in that infrared comes out of here, it bounces back and is collected by this, and the way that the infrared looks when it's collected here enables us to track your entire body and all of your motions. So you can work out what's my hand, what's my face, what my legs are, and then what my little character will corresponds to what I'm doing in the real world. Exactly. For women, that's incredibly liberating. And why it's important that it appeals to women is women control the living room. There's a real battle going on for the living room. Women are the gatekeepers of that. They decide what's coming in, what's coming out. And Microsoft Connect, this is a great opportunity to get inside the living room. Traditionally, consoles have been relegated to the bedroom or the attic or the boys' den. The UK games industry hopes that Connect, with its new motion-based technology, will help buoy up sales. 2008 was the biggest year for games in the UK, with more than £4 billion worth of games, consoles and accessories sold. But by 2009, that figure had dropped to just £3.3 billion, with far fewer must-buy games on the market. And analysts predict that 2010 could be even worse. This is a crucial week for the games industry. The latest instalment of the Call of Duty series, Black Ops, was released last night, and it's expected to be among the best-selling titles ever. But the industry's basic problem is that the Xbox, Wii and PlayStation 3 are all more than four years old. All singing or dancing attachments like the Kinect extend the life a little bit, but until a new generation of consoles come out, sales are unlikely to hit the highs of 2008. And that's it. We're back tomorrow at 7. Until then, from Katie, me and John in Haiti, that's Channel 4 News. Have a very good evening.